The Cardassian Podcast. The Cardassian Podcast. The Cardassian Podcast. Listen if you want to. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the Cardassian Podcast. Episode big number. 62. 62. No. No. Let's celebrate. It's not a big, big anything. Six, because it's not 6-5 or something? No, not even that. We told you it's like the 50, you know, 100, the numbers the people care about. The fives are important, too. 25. Not yeah, really. but not when it's a podcast. It has to be like big. 62. Like, let's celebrate. The next I think big whatever one, numbers I am, it's important. The next what? big one will be 100. That's when we'll celebrate. So no, the big anything. Not 70? No. You just said the zeros. Episodes isn't years. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, my God. So we are going to go over a few notes um, before we get into the first segment. Just want to say only this month, uh, watermelon merch on the shopsmgm.com. And it's only happening in October. So if you're listening to this For outside October. of October, you, you can't get out. it. So sorry. It's a brand new drop and it's like neon graffiti. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Like I have one that says fighter and survivor. It's pretty cool. For you whatever reason they made that. And I'm so glad we're celebrating yeah. that. It's and worth a great celebrating. Shirt that says no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the classic creation, uh, that's so watermelon. Or is it just so watermelon? No, that's so watermelon. Yeah, and that's something that me and Courtney created. So you should definitely uh, no. check that out. No. Yeah. Yes. I'm not going to let you give spread fake news for the merch drop. That is okay. something that I made, and it's sure. so watermelon. Love and unfortunately, that. the fighter and survivor is something me and Courtney made. Yes, you helped me create that. I said the, I said the quote first, but you said you said you were a fighter. <sighs> And then Cordy's like, yeah. I'm Anyways, a well, if yeah, it anyway. sells well, also, if it sells well, I'll take the credit. Oh my god! Also, you can check out the YouTube channel, the Cardassian Podcast highlights, and so you can see and listen to us. Like some of your favorite bits that are traumatizing for yeah. us are now the filmed. dolphin, the fruit salad, which I still stand by. Sure. It's so stupid. Whatever. So Cardassian like Podcast highlights and shopsimgm.com. Love that. All right. So now we're getting into the questions and comments. You left these questions and comments on simgmproductions.com slash podcast. If you don't know that by now, you're a little loser. Um, and we're gonna get wow. to the first one. I agree with that. I mean, yeah, but I do agree. But I but have I to love say you. wow to be yeah. unless you're okay, new. Well. If you're new to 62 then yeah. that is okay. But if you're not new, a little more. All right. Um, I just don't also, get why you would join at 62, but like. Also, side note, I also want to thank everybody who's left reviews on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to podcasts. I read them all and all your smart ass comments saying, I hope Chloe sees this. I'm going to give it a one star. Yeah. You. Wow. And so then you I said, actually But we're not encouraging to- one stars. No, we are not. Also, I saw someone. Did you get a one star, though? There was one. Yeah, we did cover it. And then I looked back on it. And then it said, update. I saw that Chloe saw this. I'm like. Oh, my God. Yeah, I saw it. It was only one. It was only one one. And there only better not be any There's more. There's going to be, be so many more now after that. They will be banned if I see this again. Moving on to the first question from Alyssa. Alyssa. Um, I wonder if it's Eliza. I don't care. Eliza is a Z, right? Or Elisa. Hello from Italy. This is for Chloe and Kim. I bought Chloe's raspberry booyah and my ass went popping gray. Yeah, listen, we've created so many different flavors and things of that nature that I can't remember them all. But I do remember your product. It's because she doesn't care. It's not my product. It's just I'm a I'm associated with the brand, and I've helped. Fine, with know, the, know the product you're selling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, shut up, Kim. All right. What? Know your product, bitch. And my ass. I pop- know my product. Let's not get into that, but I'm sure we will somehow. I- oh, Courtney, listen. It brings in. It brings in. You know the lawsuits. As a result. I now have the biggest ass and I can walk around at recruit at recruiting day with my huge ass. That's right. 
But however, one of the inmates just told me she brought glow, glow, glow shampoo and her head was literally scalped. The blood started flowing nonstop and she couldn't stop itching. Oh my God. Did you put dangerous chemicals in a shampoo? By the way, your products are f***ing scam. Listen, I, that's so rude for them to say that about Raspberry Booyah. I'm sorry that they called it a scam, Chloe, but we've <sighs> all been there. It's business. But uh-huh. in terms that's not of what the, it says, but okay. In terms of the Glow Glow shampoo, it did what it's supposed to do. That person didn't have to be scalped, but as far as the itching goes, that's what the product says it's going to do. No. It's going to make you, have, you itch. Yes, when you have an itchy scalp, you apply the glow 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 shampoo and you when you scratch that gets all the dandruff out. Ew. Now, you're supposed to scratch lightly and no. then you use your regular shampoo and conditioner. This person So what's the point of having glow 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 shampoo? It gets the dandruff out. So that this the per- other shampoo can wash it completely. This how had- how are you gonna how are you going to eliminate something Kim. you can't see, Courtney? They had a normal scalp, and your shampoo destroyed it. Now, how do you feel about that? No, that, that they're supposed they're not Denial. supposed to scratch to death. You're supposed to scratch it until the dandruff rises to the surface. Just think about you can't get rid of something you can't see. You Sounds have like, to see it first to attack the enemy. This Sounds is like going they, nowhere. Listen, listen. How are you going to get rid of dandruff unless it goes to the top? I'm going to send you a you're, year's You're supply. just going to wash your hair willy-nilly without Kim, like... I'm going to send them a year's supply of Raspberry Booyah just to show my appreciation. And that's Kim not gonna will be... That's going to fix their head. Kim will It'll be give helping. them a bigger ass. Maybe they'll be happy. And I will make sure Kim helps you. But I'm going to give you some no. raspberry boo. Yeah, for being so supportive. How about that? That's, I'm not helping well. somebody who didn't follow instructions. Well, I will. You don't help I'll be anyone. the better person. All right. Moving on to hopefully someone who has a good experience and not, you know. Um, well, if you use Glow, 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 you're going to have a guaranteed Glow, Glow, Glow experience. You're going to have some kind of experience. A glowing experience. A hospital visit. Stan Luna. I love that name. Stan Luna. Kind of like Raspberry Booyah. Um, I have a question for Courtney. What's up? I, I, yeah, I'm about to tell you what's up. Okay? Just I, read it, Chloe. Oh, my God. Sh- 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 okay. I recently bought your new No, No, No product. But when I... I didn't know you had a product, product Courtney. But when I opened the box, it was empty. I contacted your customer service and the person told me to stop being stupid and hung up. Can I get a refund now or do or did you not only copy Kim's brand name but also her terrible refund policies? Okay, I'm going to say this right now. I don't think I think you got a bootleg of or something cuz Courtney doesn't well, no, have Courtney- a product. Courtney had mentioned well, she might had, put out yeah, a no, I, no, no. I kept what? it on the down low. Courtney, you actually released something and you're following it's your nothing sister's nothing anyways. They get exactly what they pay for. Nothing. It, that's not what... Okay, what does the product say? It and just you want to no, talk no, no. about com- my There's my a commercial coming out soon. I mean, this is, you know, when people buy things ahead of time. The no. pre-order. Wow, you don't even know what business terms are, Courtney. Like, okay, pre-sale is not the same as not knowing what the product as is. As long as... As long as I make money, I don't really care. But the box goes out. The box goes out. People open it. And then nothing's in it. And then the customer service says, stop being stupid. And you guys want to talk about my customer service? If If they choose to call. At least somebody answers right away, Kim. So it's not. the The thing is, I have a commercial coming out soon. And it's okay. going to show the box, someone opening it, and nothing's in it. It's up to them if they want to purchase or not. So it's literally just a box by Courtney? And how much yeah, does this cost? no, no, no on the box. How much does it cost? 
Why don't you look it up and find out? No, how much does it cost? Let me look Courtney. it up. Looking it up. Courtney, are you serious? It's super cheap. Two fifty for nothing? Okay, listen, that is cheap. That's very that is cheap. cheap. But for some that people but for some people who only make like a hundred thousand a year, that's not good. Yeah. That's not good. They get a yeah. box. Courtney, it's so nothing. Like- nothing. Listen, I'll give it to you that at least it's not a bioweapon. I'll give you that. Okay. Yeah, yeah and neither it's is mine. It's been FDA tested. No one will get harmed with this product. Well, yeah, unless you get wait until somebody gets a paper cut and then you get sued for that. Because let me Kim, tell you, Kim, you've been what? sued for everything. A paper cut is not the equivalent yeah. of turning someone into. I'm pretty a, sure that's pretty similar. A f- you zombie. bleed, don't you? Oh my god! Well, I think the cells will do very well. I'm sure they will. Courtney, if people you're gonna want to go straight to jail for like misadvertising. It's not going to misadvertise. That's the thing. They are paying for nothing. And no, you know what? They're paying for something that they can use to pack something. Nobody does that, Chloe. Cam. Using a box that you received and then packing stuff in that no, box they're gonna again. Get, they're going to get a packaged box, but inside of that is a no, no, no box that has yeah. nothing in it. And then you can't reuse those. You can keep the special no, no, no box. Great. Moving on. So sorry, Stan Luna. 250. Uh, yeah. Okay. I can't wait for you to get sued. Not and I do happen. not have terrible refund policies. Kim, you sound bitter. It's I'm not bitter. I'm just saying I don't have terrible refund policies. Are I'm you, defending my brand. Are you jealous that Courtney managed to run a, a pyramid scheme without getting people hurt? Is that well, what she is? could run schemes and I, I run a business. Okay. And that my refund good. policy, it's changed a little bit, but it's still How? the same. How? It's it's changed because you don't there is no number to call now when you want a refund. So that doesn't make it any better. It just means don't call us cuz you're not getting a refund. That is a change for the good. Yeah. We'll let your customers pick. Oh, well, I guess I couldn't tell you. We are moving on. Poisonous cucumbers. It's a very interesting names today. Um, hey there Cardassian sisters. Cardassim- Car- wow, Cardassimsters. Cardassimsters. Interesting. I, I just want to let you know that the both of you are super watermelon. Both of which um, two? Yeah, good question. Even being so nice enough to let your stupid bitch sister, um, what was her name? Chloe? Clo uh no, 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 you do you don't you don't turn no, finish the finish Shut what up. it says. Oh yeah, Chloe hosts the podcast. Anyways, my question for She's you She's not the host. How did you turn around poisonous cucumbers from our side to her side suddenly? I'm pretty sure they're still on your side. Anyway. We just called you the host. We're all the hosts. That's fact. That's one compliment she can take away from this. It's not a compliment. It's just fact. Anyways, no, my not. shut up. Anyways, my question for you guys today is a would you rather for all three of you? Oh my god. You're gonna make you're gonna call me a stupid bitch and then you expect me to read all this. All right. For Courtney, would you rather have to share a room with Chris for 48 hours straight or use glow 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 on yourself for a week straight, Courtney? Well, we know the answer. That's to that. not, yeah, that's not tough because the I want, low. I actually want to live, so mm-hmm. I'd actually stay with Chris. Mm-hmm. Wow, it'd be a nightmare. Wow, okay. If you use glow glow glow, if you don't use glow glow glow, you're not living. If I use glow glow glow, you'll be planning my funeral. Listen, I really don't. I really don't want to move on with this question, but I'll do it anyway. It says for the extra sister cauliflower. Yeah, f- you. Would you rather only have that's a, Chloe? That's, that's a that's a cute nickname, cauliflower. <sighs> cute nickname with a K. Booty hole pictures for the rest of your life, or an 
organized pantry for the rest of your life. Organized pantry because I don't have booty hole pictures. Oh, Chloe. I don't have oh my them. God. I don't you have really, them. Maybe you should be the lawyer, Chloe, because you're really good at not telling the truth. So you admit lawyers are liars. No. I know what I'm good at and what I'm not, Kim. So I'm not going to do that. So, yeah. So whatever. Yeah, organized pantry, whatever. I don't give. I don't care what you think. Anyway, for the lawyer, Kim. Oh, thank you, Cauliflower. Would you rather get to only keep. Your name is Poisonous Cucumbers. No, I'm saying Cauliflower to Chloe. Thank uh, you for, the, for reading that. For the lawyer, Kim, would I'm you rather. I'm just making sure the audience understands. Get to only keep the dentist and orange soda forever or your company and strawberry soda forever? Why would I choose? I could always start another company. So the dentist and orange soda forever. Mm. Like why would I choose? So you're willing to pick orange soda. A disgusting soda. And my company, like I said, could always be like, here comes glow, glow, glow too. To the dumpster. P.S. Courtney, will you please drop us your skincare routine? Thanks. I don't do anything. I just literally look good. just probably just water and bitterness. It's natural. You don't want to throw that in your no, no, no box? No. Anyway. The box it- literally says no, 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 as in don't put anything in it. There's air in the box, a.k.a. H2O. Anyway, thank you so much uh, for your questions, except for poisonous cucumbers. You can go to hell. Um, Cauliflower, calm down. Mm-hmm. That's so, that's so, that's so, watermelon. 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 Welcome to segment two. That's so, watermelon, where we're given five random topics, and we decide if each thing is so, watermelon, or so, not watermelon. Okay. First great. topic. Yeah, it is great. Love that. Chloe. What? First. Clo- oh my God. Say it. Did I did I interrupt you in your segment? No. We just I did don't not. like hearing your you voice. Did. First topic. Science projects. So watermelon or so not watermelon. I think they're so watermelon. Education is key. Really? Science projects uh, help project. Um, you obviously never have done a science You've never done a project. science project, Chloe. You never did homework. I liked projects. I did not like homework. Mm-hmm. The reason I graduated was because I was great at testing and I was great at projects. And at that time, tests were worth way sure. more than the homework. So all the kids that did their homework Failed the class because the tests were hard. But I just did the test. You know those kids that be like, I don't do the homework. I just show up on test day and I aced. I was those kids. They were annoying, but that was Okay. I just found someone who was like super smart and I just paid them. Okay, so you're a cheater. But in terms of like actually doing a science project, like when it came to like talking about planets, these so-called planets, planet i so called what do you mean what they're We're called planets planet. yeah these so-called planets when we talked about those like no i didn't do those projects it started off incorrect because the earth was round i remember when i had a partner for a science project and she gave me this ball and i'm like what is this Susie?" because her name was Susie, and she was like that's earth and i was like no First of all, Earth is brown. No. So she had two things wrong. She made it blue and green, and then she made it round. Wait, wait, wait. both of those are right. What? The, no. It, it is blue and green. That's from correct. A, From a far distance, it is blue and green, and it is round. Have you ever looked at Earth, like picks them up in your hand, and it's blue or green? No. That's just dirt, you dumb bitch. It's not brown. It's it round. It is B-R-O brown. It is brown. Kim, okay, moving on. If your partner was somebody who's saying, and then that was another thing. She gave me the other planets too. And Jupiter was really big, like bigger than Earth. And then that one, I was supposed to believe one has a ring around it. Like the planets could get some married. Of them, some of them have too. Saturn? What? 
Saturn. What that, is that? The the one. Anyway, okay. The so married Court, one. Courtney, I, I I sat on Uranus. No, maybe you know what? Maybe girls. Maybe girls are from Mars. I think Kim is proving girls are from Mars. I thought women were from Venus. Venus. No, they're from Mars. When I had gone up into space for a brief se- brief second. No, you said that you saw the curve of the Earth. I saw a curve, but that doesn't mean it's not square. Oh, my yes, God. A square can have a curve. Like, you've never seen a square that has, like, slight little curves on you the end. You didn't take geometry edges. class. Obviously. Then that's literally not a square. That becomes a different. I forgot what it's called when it becomes something that's a not. A square. A square with not sharp edges. Shut up, Kim. Science projects are so watermelon because you could pay other people to do it. Regardless of paying, do you like them, like, just for what they are? No. Wow. So, like, unintelligent women here. Don't even know that girls are from Mars. Next topic, traffic lights. So watermelon or so not watermelon? So not watermelon. Really? Yes, she she runs red lights. No, well, yeah. What I Chloe. listen, listen. I've never been pulled over except for that one time. We don't talk about that. What I am saying is, I don't here in Los Angeles. Like, like, let's be mm-hmm. honest. Like, the traffic here is abysmal, and I feel that it's just like, come on. Like, there are crazy drivers. Like, you're gonna get crazy drivers, but like, there yeah. are people. Like, crosswalk signs are so like ridiculous. Sometimes it'll say mm-hmm. stop but it will be green. And then the person, like, yeah. and then you have to make a right turn. You don't know if that person you're supposed to go or if you're supposed to stop. Then they'll have the number. And you do no. know because the pedestrian has the right of way, Chloe. No. Listen, that, that red hand, and it's green for me, and there's a red hand for you. That means stop, you f***ing asshole, and let everybody else drive. And then you can go no. when it's red, and there's the time. It How about that? The, it means you have... So and so seconds to stop. Listen, it has a walking person. There is a walking person, but sometimes it's green on the side that they want to go to, and there's the red hand. Like I'm just saying, it could be better. Is what I'm saying. Okay. I also hate the flashing yellow arrow. I hate it. It's like, listen, I can stop here. I'll go when it's green. I don't want to have all this pressure when all these cars are coming and people are honking behind me in Los Angeles. I'm like, listen, there are cars coming. Like, you just need to avoid that light then. I would honk at you too, Chloe. Like, go. Just at least be in the middle of there the There's literally cars going and they're they're wanting me to go. Listen, I think they're unnecessary, but I think they could be better. I think they could be better. And the streets are so tight here that it's like there's no room to breathe. Exactly. You know how many cars I've sideswiped just because I was what? upset that they were there? What? I took out a whole neighborhood once. Excuse me? Wow. Yeah. Why? You're really going to take up some of the street space by parking your car because you couldn't go into your garage, really? A lot of people don't have garages. What does that do with traffic lights? Oh, uh, well, no. Then ignore that I said that. Anyway, traffic lights are still not watermelon. They could be better, but they're necessary. Yeah, traffic lights are so watermelon to save so lives, but then not so watermelon if you're late if you're somewhere. if you want to go yeah. no that's not L- listen i just think they could be better listen if there's nobody out who says you can't go you know what the i mean the light true. no other no other cars around they have cameras it's now Kim. Red. they have cameras if you're sitting there for like 2 minutes and there's nobody just go yeah. no if you can like no. there's no cops no especially not yes. in this city no. absolutely you- not if there are cameras that can take your picture, then don't go. Go on red. If there's nobody around, go on oh red. Oh, my God, no. Do not. But you didn't hear it from me. We literally heard it from you. I didn't hear anything. Yeah, thank you, Courtney. Moving on, please. Please. Next topic, cursing. So watermelon or so not watermelon? So watermelon. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it like... I don't see how people can go through life without cursing. Yeah. Now, are we talking about like cursing as in bad words or are we talking like which witches, witches cursing? I'm pretty sure they mean swear words. And I and when they and when I, I mean, and I swear by them 
Because listen, sometimes you just yeah. have to say curse words. Now on our podcast, yeah. we censor them, and I think, and I think for some people, there's there's comedic effect to something being censored. It's like it could be funny, you know. But at the same time, like I like if I'm feeling something or a certain way, I have to, you know, say a certain word. Like it's Kim, a way to yeah. express yourself. Like I'm feeling now. Sometimes, go ahead. I rather not curse right now. Sometimes Chloe will abuse cursing. And as will you. But I selectively and very purposely use my curse words. Okay. As you I don't should. Know. When both of you guys get upset, you kind of go off. The thing When do I get upset? Out of all Always. out of all three of us, the one who probably curses the the like the least or the last or the least is probably Courtney because Courtney doesn't really speak. Yeah. Period. Yeah, I don't have much to say. Usually. Say your teacher is Mr. Todd and he's like, do your homework. Just hit him back with a little bit of a, you know. Mm, you. No, I don't think that's going to work. Happens. I don't think that. Yeah, see what happens. He will Just be so him. shocked. You're being you didn't hear it from us. Today. You didn't hear it from us. Yeah, you didn't hear it from they us. They can claim that they heard it from us and then just play the audio. You two are so stupid. Like, what the there, there's no all they, evidence. all they have to do is say one of the other kids told them to say it. Yeah, and End they heard story. it from the Cardassian podcast. And then, and you, you blame it on somebody who you don't like, and that kid is immediately kicked out of the class, like transferred. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you don't get in trouble. I've never done this. Oh, I was I'm gonna say saying. I speak from experience. So does Kim. C- Courtney. Courtney, shut up. Kim speaks We've from We've never done this. You two speak from No. Experience. I would never. We've never done this, but if you do, just blame somebody you don't like. Like, there was this girl named Marsha who took my favorite coloring pencils. And I didn't do this, but the teacher had said, you know, Kimberly, get your colored pencils. And I, I was like, I f- can't because Marsha took them. And she was like, Kimberly, your language. And I said, Marsha taught me. And Marsha was immediately transferred out. I never saw her again after that. Wow. That's a good But story. that didn't, I'm not saying that happened, but like. That was pretty specific for it not it's to It's very happen. specific. And I think specifically, I think Marsha ended up being a lawyer. That's great. That makes so, sense. so there was an injustice in Marsha's life and she took it upon herself. To become a lawyer. Well, I'm glad I can inspire people to. Oh, so you so did you do my profession. Okay, there we go. Uh, case uh, proven. No. Case closed. Wait. Anyway, cursing is so watermelon. It's so watermelon. Can we get all of our cursing out now before we continue no. with this podcast? No. Okay. Next topic: walking barefoot. So watermelon or so not watermelon. I think it's so watermelon. I'm at the I beach. I think it's disgusting. What's wrong with that? Yeah. I love walking on the beach and like I have my feet in the sand. It's nice. Nobody wants to see your toes, Chloe. Okay. First Even of all, we've that is our whole life. First of all, I feel yeah, that's inaccurate. Nobody wants to see that's it. inaccurate to the people who really, really are into toes. So, like, like I think there's nothing wrong with walking barefoot. Like I love walking barefoot. I'm in the house. It depends I walk on barefoot. where you're walking. Like, yeah, like, where are you? Because even if you walk barefoot, like, on the beach, sometimes that could be too hot. Sometimes. But I also like doing it, like, when I'm in my backyard, on the grass. It's really nice. What about, like, on the, on cement? On something Well, when I'm going to get, like, groceries or something really quick, which I rarely do. But if I'm going to get groceries, sometimes I'm barefoot. But not if it's super cold. What? What? You walk you into the store get, you would No, walk? I didn't know groceries from the car. Well, all you you didn't specify That's Chloe. not what so I when meant. You go out for groceries. That's not what I meant. I meant getting them what out of the car. What about if you're like at a gas station? Gas station probably not. I don't not. think I would like maybe maybe if it was like a dare or something or I'm about like it's a promotion for like an advertiser I'm doing then maybe. Is it against the law to walk around with your bare feet in a gas station? I wouldn't. It should be. I will make it a law, though. I can do that. When you're a lawyer, no, you, you're, can't. you can be a lawmaker. Shut up. Yeah. It's so watermelon. And no, don't do it at a gas station or something like that. But yes, it's so watermelon. 
Last topic, electric toothbrush. So watermelon or so not watermelon? I have one, so. Yeah, I mean, me too. here's the thing. They're so watermelon. If you're using a regular toothbrush, you might as well be like a caveman. Yeah, in the Stone Age. Using, no. Using twigs and like no, they use. There, I prefer electric toothbrush, but there were times when I had a regular toothbrush before they existed. And, and I and, and I didn't get in a lot of cavities. So like they could still do the job. It's just that they're better for like like those harder reach areas. That should be the one thing that sh- there should be no effort for. I'm not what? I'm not going to stand there and lose my energy brushing my teeth when something can do it for okay, me. Okay, the electric toothbrush is going, but you're not just supposed to drag it across your teeth. You still have to do a little yeah, bit of you're brushing. Supposed you don't have, That's how you're not you supposed use it. to scrub with it. Yeah, you're not supposed to. If you're doing that, Chloe, you're doing it. No, wrong. I'm not talking like as hard as you would with one that isn't electric, but you still got to. You just gently move it around your mouth. Like, what are we maids? Maids for our teeth? I have to scrub. Yes. I'm not going to be Cinderella to my teeth. Only thing I don't like is that sometimes when, like, because sometimes I'll forget. It doesn't happen often, but, like, the electric toothbrush is that you have to put the toothpaste on before you turn it on. Because if you put it on as yeah. it's going, it yeah. just slip right off. It's a trial and error. But... Yeah. I've done that so many times. I was just like, what is going on here? It's like, I wasted a whole tube. But also with electric toothbrushes, you have to charge them. Yeah. If you not, and when not mine. Look, Mine's just battery. Or you change the battery. Or you change the batteries. But with mine, when it comes to that part where it's like, oh, it needs to be charged and it just stops on me in the middle of my like brushing of my teeth, I just get a new one. What? Wow. I get a new toothbrush. I'm not going to wait Oh, for I get what you mean. Charge. You have two and then you let that one charge and then you get the one that is charged. Okay, got it. No, I I throw no, that she one just out. Buys a new one. I throw that one out and I get a new one. I'm not gonna sit and wait for something to charge when I need to brush my teeth. So after it's just like a okay. So after like three days and it needs to be charged. No, the charge lasts for about a week. You're buying a toothbrush no. every week. Yeah. They want you to change your what? Like it's isn't it like every like three me? months or like every four months to get a new no. toothbrush? No, every week. No, I so I line up with how often you're supposed to change. You're supposed to change your toothbrush. You have to every break week. into those t- tooth toothbrushes, so like the bristles can be kind of hard at first. They're, aren't you like cutting your gums? Yeah. Chem. What's brushing your teeth if not a little bit of blood? Uh, well, says the glow, wow. glow, glow creator. Gotta shed some blood, right? Glow, glow, glow toothbrush. Oh. No, no. Yeah. No. Kim, if you find, if you do toothbrush, do not make it electric. Do not. Do not make it electric. I know. I swear if to I God. do make a, it's, I could see it already. Glow, glow, glow electric. No. Toothbrush. You're going to have Why something it... to heal gums. And that's even worse. G- I mean, I'll make it so you don't have to break it in. It'll be soft. Don't put any ideas in her head. And I'll make one of those ones that, like, spit out the water as you're brushing. No. You will not. Yeah. It's going to be I'm gonna so get on soft. That. You're, it's going to have one bristle. Oh, my God, Courtney. You should wow. be on my creative team. Oh, my God. It was a joke. A one bristle, no. glow, glow, glow electric toothbrush that spits water. <sighs> And I'm going to make sure I use the word spit water because I think that would really sell it. Like, and this sure. one spits water. We are moving on. Or acid. Who's the smartest? Me. Me. Time for segment three. Who's the smartest? This is when we're given three random words we don't know and we try to guess what they mean. Whoever guesses the closest is the smartest. First word. Pandiculation. P-A-N-D-I-C-U-L-A-T-I-O-N. Pandiculation. I'm not going to say the first thing that came to mind when I read yeah. this. Um, but Panic dick. Okay. I'm, I'm guessing that. Okay. So it, it, sounds like, it sounds like an action of some sort. Right? Um, I think that it has to. I don't really know. This word doesn't really make sense to me. Yeah. Pandiculation. Okay, maybe I'm gonna say it means to move in a circle. 
I'm going to think that it has something to do with like the breaking down of something of matter, kind of like mitosis. Okay. To well, split in two. Like, I think it means to break down. I, I don't know. This sounds like there, like there is a movement involved. I'm going to say it's like a group of people and they're just like being moved. The movement of a group from one area to like another. I honestly don't know. Like whoever gets the point on this, if you do, like Godspeed. The definition is the involuntary stretching of the soft tissues. So stretching. When you're <sighs> doing much. pandiculation, you're stretching. I gotta do yeah. a good pandiculation right now. <sighs> Before I take this walk, let me pandiculate my ass. Right. So, okay, I don't want to think of that word when I wake up in the morning. I think we all pandiculate in the morning. Wake up in the morning, pandiculating. I'm about to hit this. Sim City. Okay, second word. Ked. K-E-D. I think Ked means, like, you know how you have, like, a can of, of, like, a delicious, like, uh, strawberry soda? And, like, that little thing that you snap on the can, that little thing, that's called a Ked. Cad. No. I thought it was just called a top. Thing. You snap it and it's a cad. It's called something. I forgot. It's called a cad. I think it's corn. Could be. It sounds sure. like a type it's of It's what you corn. call corn like when it's all in a group. It's called a cad. A cad of corn. Right? Is that what you're talking about? I'm trying to work with you here. No, I just think it's a different word for corn. Like maybe that's what okay, back in ancient times in like the 20th century. To me, it sounds like just a jug of some sort. You put some water in it. You blow into it and it makes like a music note. No, no like you could drink out of it. It says any of various blood feeding, often wingless flies of the family that are parasitic. Ew. A fly without a wingless fly? That's like a, probably like a maggot, but. Okay. That's just that is so gross. But I mean, if we were to use it at, in a sentence, then just as an example, so like Taylor is a cad. No. If there was like a tick named Taylor, and you're the well, sheep in this analogy. Shut up. Okay. Next word, velocate. V e l l i c a t e. Sounds like some sort of like penetration of some sort. Like almost like something cutting into something or like like to it sounds like another version of like just to penetrate something. I was actually going to say uh, not I mean, not to follow that, but I not was going to gonna say it reminds me of like, you no, know, it reminds me of like lubrication of some sort. Hmm. So to like to velocate, like to give an example, like, like maybe to put this screw into this bolt and we need to velocate it so it could go in there. So lubricate. Okay. To lubricate. For penetration. Okay. To, yes. I think velocate means to tell the truth. You better velocate oh, well, to me or else you're out of my life. Velocate yourself. Yeah, explain yourself. And be free. Tell I the speak velocation, uh, your honor. I'm here to velocate your honor. Something about speaking out or speaking in. Okay. It means to twitch, nip, pinch. To cause a to cause to twitch. Like tickling? Tickle, titillate. These words I'm never gonna use. Velocate, Velocate instead of tickle. Tickle sounds so much more fun. Like, oh, I'm going to velocate you. That sounds like you're about to kill the child. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. We are done. We are done. We're never going to use any of these words. Uh, Ever. Anyway, just as the last reminder to go to shopsimgm.com and get the new merch that's only going to be in October. Don't forget to um, follow us on wherever you listen to us. So save us. Follow us so that you know when we release uh, new things. Check out the Sim, New, yeah. check out Sim GM channel, the Prince and Zach channel, the 
um, same jam highlight. Oh, you'll want to be subscribed to Prudence and Zach because yeah, we we're gonna be we're gonna be over episode. there. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be very interesting. Um, it was scary. Yeah. Some may say. All right. So thank you everybody for listening. I hope you have a good day. Say watermelon. Are you eating? Are you using the bathroom? Stop. Are you Stop. typing? Are you thank on you your so phone on the toilet? It doesn't matter because you're what? listening to the Kardashian podcast. I hope you're on the toilet and you know we can relax moment. you to get the job done. Exactly. Leave five stars if you're on the toilet right yes. now. Wherever you listen to us, rate us. We love you. Give us that. Give us that. Bye. I just gave them a kiss goodbye and you're still going. That's rude. You could kiss somebody goodbye and then say like goodnight. Bye, everybody. Oh my God, Courtney, really? That was my goodbye. Stop burping You've all the never time. Been, like, you want to talk about being disrespectful to the audience? Look at Kim Thank as an example. Thank you so much for listening. Love you.